Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you around WP Review Pro. I'm going to take a complete look at installing and setting up the plugin for use on your site. Now, WP Review Pro is the only review plugin you'll ever need. It's highly customizable and loaded with features, including support for Google's rich snippets, as well as different types of reviews. And we're going to dive straight into looking at the plugin. The first thing you want to do is head into the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. Here you want to scroll down on your active premium resources to the bottom here where you'll find your plugins and you want to expand WP Review Pro and then click download. You want to save that to your computer and now you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and from here you want to go to plugins and then press add new and from there you want to upload plugin and just select the zip file you've just downloaded. Press install now and WordPress is going to upload and install the plugin and then all that's left for you to do is press activate plugin. That's going to activate the plugin and now if you head to settings you're going to find a new option here which is WP Review Pro. Click on that and you're going to be taken to the global option settings for the plugin. This is where you can make one click changes to control how the plugin is displaying throughout your entire site. You've got things such as for comment form integration, whether you're replacing form fields or just adding new fields without modifying the default fields. You can have restricting ratings to registered users only or require a rating when commenting, allowing comment feedback, whether it's helpful or unhelpful, and whether to add your total rating to your thumbnails. Now this might be so you can display scores on your homepage, for example. You can also choose which thumbnail sizes to use for this. So if you have a specially small thumbnail such as this 150 by 150 size, you might want to have that unticked so that the score from the review doesn't obscure the whole thumbnail. Once you're done making those changes, you can save those. The next tab we can have a look at is the styling tab. Now here you can set the global options for the styling and colors of your reviews, but you can also change these later on on a post by post basis. Using this color picker, you can choose between any color on the color spectrum, as well as tint the color, or choose a custom hex code in order to get the precise color you want. You can also change the font color, the heading background color, the background color, and the border color, as well as the review width. This can be any percentage of your content width, including 100%, and if it's anything less than 100%, you can choose whether to align left or right. I'm just gonna set this to 100% and then save my changes. The next tab for us to have a look at is the defaults. Here you can set the default review location for the MyWP Review Pro reviews. You can have it after your content, before your content, or custom using a shortcode. If you choose this option, then you can just paste in WP Review, this shortcode here, into the post content in order to get your reviews to show up anywhere in your content. Additionally, you can also show reviews from different articles on a single page using a special shortcode you get on a per post or per page basis, and we'll look at this later on in the video. You can also choose between multiple review schemas. These are preset for different types of review. By default, this is set to thing. So if you're reviewing a thing, for example, you would set that to this. But you have preset options for books, games, movies, music recordings, paintings, and so on. And if your site is specializing in any one of these, you can set that here. But you might want to just leave this on default and then customize it on a post by post, review by review basis. You can read more about review schemas on this page here at developers.google.com. And it is up to Google whether to display this information in a search result. And it's based on a number of factors, including whether they think the review is helpful or genuine. You can also add the default features that you're going to score your reviews by. That includes features, usability and accessibility by default. But you might want to just add another default feature, um, perhaps awesomeness. And this will show up on all of your reviews. If you want to get rid of any of these, you can just press delete and you can add as many as you like. For context, this is just what this looks like on the front end of your site. You can see the three categories as well as a star rating and then an average is created, which gives the final review score. You can also add a default link to your reviews and you can add a text and URL here and add as many of these as you like. You might want to use this feature in order to add product links, video links or affiliate links and you can just see what this looks like on a real world review here with two buttons here with two links. 
Finally, you can choose a global option for user ratings, whether these are off, only on for visitor rating, or only on for comment rating, and the final option is to have both of those. We'll take a further look at user reviews later on in the video. As always, once you're done, make sure you save those changes. We're now ready to have a more detailed look at the review settings. To do this, you want to head to Posts, and you can either add a new post or edit a already existing post. I'm going to do this by adding a new post here, just to show you the full features available. I'm going to add a title here, as well as paste in some dummy content. We're now ready to add our review, and we can do that by scrolling down here, and you're going to see a new box is available. This is your review box. Here you can set your review type. You'll see at the moment it's set to no review, but if you click on this, you have four options. You can either choose a star-based review type, so that will be out of five stars, a point-based review type, a percentage-based review type, or a circle-based review type. I'm going to show you all of these in turn now. We'll start off with just a star-based review. You're going to see you have the option to customize the review schema, and that's what we had a look at earlier. These are all the different types of preset reviews. So I'm just going to have this one set to TV series. You can also add a review heading. I'm just going to add in some content here. Below that you've got your review items and you're going to see we have the three that we set by default and on the review itself you've got the option to pick these up and drag and drop in order to move them around. You can also add additional or just press delete to remove these. I'm just going to stay with the default ones. And for each of these, you can score on a 1 to 5 scale. Or if you're using a different review type, it's going to be a 1 to 100. So I'm just going to set this to 4, um, perhaps uh, 3.5, and then 5. And we're going to see that a average is automatically created. And this is going to be the total review score that's displayed on the site. You can now also change all of the options that we saw earlier, but just on a review by review basis. You can change your custom location, so before or after content or custom using the shortcode. And again, it's just that shortcode I mentioned earlier. I'm going to have this uh, after my content. You can also add custom colors and change any of the colors that we saw earlier on a post by post basis. So if you want to change any of these, you can do so here. I'm just going to leave these as they are. You can also add a custom width. Again, I just like to leave that at 100%. You can also add a custom review author. I'm just going to set this to my theme shop team. Next up, we have the review description, and here you can add in the content of your review. I'm just going to paste in some dummy content here, um, and we'll just cut this up so it's just a short section there. You can style the text just by editing it. For example, you can add in paragraph breaks, and also add all the standard WordPress styling options. So we can have that in a block quote, for example, and maybe bold the first sentence, just by pressing these buttons here. I'll just show you what that looks like on our site. So if we just load up a page here, then we're going to see that we've got the review title, the three features along with the star ratings, with the stars filling in appropriate to the score they've been given, as well as the total score with the number there, as well as the star indicator and the review summary there. If you would like to, you can hide the description and total rating. And if you do do so, then you're going to see that that box disappears. And if we take a look at our site, and you'll see that um, we've got just the three features displaying on the site and no description or total rating displaying below that. And you also have the option to change your review links. You'll remember these from the options panel earlier and you might want to use this for example to have a link to where you can view the TV show we're reviewing. So I might just add um, some text here and then just add in a link to youtube.com. You can have as many of these links as you would like, and again, just delete using the standard user interface there. I'll just show you what that looks like on our site if we just load up a page here. Then we can see that we've got um, this full review, all the features, and the full review score. And then we've got this extra button here, which links to the link we've provided, and you can click on this to get some extra information. Finally, you have the option for user reviews. You'll see these are currently disabled. I'm just going to leave this how it is because we're going to come back to user reviews in a moment. With that all done, I'm just going to update my post. And we're now going to be able to load that up on our site and see what it looks like. You'll see we've got the uh, content we added as well as the title. And if we scroll down to the bottom, 
we're going to see our review with those custom colors we added earlier as well as the three ratings with their stars as well as our review summary with the content in below we've also got a link on the right hand side to our see the show button which will allow users to click through to get more relevant information You'll also note if I just refresh the page, the nice CSS animations that scroll in the star ratings as the page loads. That just adds a nice little user interface sparkle to your site. There's still more we can do with the plugin though. Here I've loaded up a post with a circle review type. If we just have a look at this, you'll be able to see what it looks like here. And we're going to see we've got this circle review type here. This includes three variables here, and we've got these circles showing the percentage that they are filled up to indicate their score here. Now, it's a really nice visual way of displaying your review. And if we scroll down here, we're going to see what the review looks like. We've got the user interface we're now used to, and you can see we've got a circle review type. We can also change this to any of the others just by clicking this. And our schema is set to software. Um, just to tell search engines and we've just got some dummy content in here this is all looking great and we're going to see we've also got the review description no links in this one and uh, user reviews are off still now i'm just going to show you how easy it is to change the review type currently this is on circle but if you want to change this to percentage then you can just press that button there from that drop down and you're going to see you can now add this as a percentage from 1 to 100 and you've still got the average created if I just update the post and load it up on our site again, then we're going to see this is now displaying as a percentage. And we've got these nice lines going across the page in order to indicate the percentage that we've given as a score. And that also corresponds to how much these bars are filled in. And finally here, I'll just show you what this looks like as a point system. So we can change this from point and this one is on one to 10. So we might just have this on 8.7 and then 8.9 and then 7.9 and that's going to create the average as well and if we just update that and have a look on our site and we can see that there and we've also got those bars still displaying with the percentage that they are filled in so that looks really nice there along with the css animations now the last major feature for me to show you from the MyWP Review Pro plugin is the user reviews. And again, we're going to head to a separate post here and we're going to head to a post with comment reviews enabled. I'll just load this up. And if we scroll down here, we're going to see we've got a um, point based review with a couple of different options here, custom colors. Um, I'll just set this to uh, after content from my review location. I've also got the summary and so on here. We now have user reviews on for both visitor ratings and comment ratings. And this is using a point based review type. We can also have this as circle or percentage or star. I might just change this to star because that's just a personal preference. I'm going to update the post and if we have a look at it on our site. And you can see here that as well as our review down here, we've also now got user ratings and users can leave ratings using this star rating system just by clicking on the star they wish to leave the review for. And if we scroll down right to the bottom, then we're going to see that instead of leave a comment, we've got the option to leave a review. And here users can leave review titles. I'll just add one in here as well as a star rating and add their own name, email address, website and review text. You'll note that the user interface has changed from leave a comment to leave a review. So you just get a really slick experience throughout your whole website. Depending on the options you've set here, if we just have a look back at the options, you're gonna see that if you don't want to have users leaving reviews in comments, then you can just set this to visitor rating. And if I just show you what this looks like, you'll see that this um, sets the comments back to normal here. You see we just have post comment and no additional items here. But users can leave reviews just by clicking the star ratings here. You'll see that the user rating automatically updates as does the number of votes. If you have this set to comment rating only, then um, you're just going to have the opposite here. So users will only be able to leave reviews in comments as part of their comments and that changes the comment field there. And they cannot click on the reviews here. You'll see this doesn't display with the option to set their user review. As an administrator on your site, you do have the option to edit reviews or delete reviews if you do not want them to display on your site. You'll see here you can just use the standard WordPress comment interface in order to edit any of these. 
as well as change or remove the reviews themselves. WP Review Pro also gives you the option to create an archive of your reviews using shortcodes. Now you can grab the ID from each individual review just by here. So I'm just going to copy this here and now create a new page on my site. Let's go to pages and press add new. You might want to use this feature in order to add an archive of your reviews. So I'm just going to add a title here. And now I just added the WP Review shortcode which is just wp-review and then id equals and just paste in the id we just copied. I'll just unbolt that and then just close that out. I can add as many short codes as I like, so I'll just add in a couple of extra reviews here. I know the IDs for these already, but you can just find those in exactly the same place as we showed you with the first review that we got. Um, I'll just add in one more here, which is the id. As I mentioned, this is really useful if you want to create something like an archive for all your reviews. And if we just have a look at that on our site, then we're going to see that we've created a review archive. And you can see we've got the reviews displaying here with the review titles, the scores, and also the summaries. Just a couple more things to show you then. You might be interested to know that these reviews are going to show up not just on your site, but also in Google searches. This can actually increase the click through rate onto your site as the additional star rating displaying next to your site just adds a little bit of visual interest to your search result and can just add a little bit of extra enticement for users to click through onto your site. You don't need to set this up in any way. The plugin's going to handle everything for you here. You also might like to have a look at the widget include it in the plugin. And to find this, you can go to appearance and then click on widgets. On the left hand side, if we scroll down, we're gonna see that the WP Review Pro widget here, and you can just drag and drop this into any widgetized area. I'm just gonna put this on my sidebar. So the widget creates a tabbed widget displaying your reviews. You can choose the tabs to display, and this includes top rated, most recent, most voted, or custom. I'll just show you what this looks like with top rated and recent, and I'll just get rid of this widget so that it displays nicely at the top of the page. So if we just load up our home page, then you'll see that we've got this widget on the right hand side in our widget area with top rated reviews. So this is the reviews with the highest rating and then most recent. So this is our most recent reviews as well. We can change that out though if we wanted to have uh, perhaps recent and most voted, then we can do so. Just make that change and press save. And if we load up our site, then you're gonna see we've got those two displaying on our sidebar. And you also have the option to add custom reviews. Now, if you do this, then you're going to want to add the review IDs. As we mentioned earlier, you can find the IDs on the reviews themselves. So you're gonna find um, under the review section, the review ID displaying here. You can just copy that and paste it onto the widget. And if you want to add multiple IDs, then you can just add a comma, a space, and then change the ID there. I might just make that change um, and then get rid of most voted and save that. And now if we have a look at our site, then we're going to see that we've got um, the recent and then editor's choice, our custom reviews and those two displaying there. Now you also have some additional options, including which type of review. So if you only want to have star, point or percentage or any type of review, then you can make sure those are consistent. You can also choose whether to allow pagination or not, as well as the number of reviews to show and the title length in words. You can also customize the thumbnail size. You can choose between small and large. And finally, you have the option to customize the tab titles. So for the ones you've selected, you can change the title that displays at the top of the widget and also the tab order. And you can just change the number here in order to customize these. So if I wanted to have a uh, custom first and recent second, I would put one and two. And if I just refresh this, then you're gonna see that those have swapped round. So that concludes our look through the WP Review Pro plugin. As I mentioned, it's a really powerful plugin. It's also fully responsive and really fast for your site. Hopefully this video has been helpful and given you a really nice introduction into using the plugin and you can now go out and use it all over your site. If you have any queries, then head over to community.mythemeshop.com and thank you very much for watching.